Hi guys, I'm Joy and this is Joy's Beauty Johns. Um, tonight I have for you a TJ Maxx beauty haul, which I have been so excited for. Um, basically what I've been doing is when I have time, maybe my lunch break from work, maybe after work or um, you know after kickboxing or something, just whenever I'm close by, I like to pop in Marshalls or TJ Maxx and kind of see what they have because they have new inventory every day. You can find some amazing, amazing deals on high-end makeup and that is my favorite thing to shop for there anymore um so i also love clothes but you know right now i'm on a total makeup kick as you guys know so anyway um i want to go over what i found with you um i want to go ahead and let you know the total spend um for all of these products that's always interesting uh to learn about to me at least. And um, so I'm excited to show you guys everything. Um, we're gonna do some swatching, see what some of the products look like. And um, I hope you guys are really excited. I'm excited, I've been holding off and I'm just thrilled. So for about a week and a half or so, I've been stockpiling products um, so I could go over like a big haul with you guys. So let's get started. So in front of me, I have a little bin um, that has all of the cosmetics to go over with you guys. And I'm just gonna pull them out one by one, kind of talk about the product a little bit, let you guys know uh, the tea on it. Um, and the first, the first product that I have is the Jet Set Glow Primer and Concealer Kit from Becca Cosmetics. Um, in here are two primers. There is a backlighting or backlight primer and a um, first light primer. So I'm not exactly sure um, how they're gonna affect my foundation. I'm super excited to try these and see if um, the radiance is different. Either which way, you know, bringing light to the face, I'm, I'm here for it. And this also comes with a little concealer here. So let's see what this looks like. So I open it up. The product is wrapped in tissue paper here. And I'm just gonna, you know how I do, toss that to the side, little instructions. So in this paper, we have the three products. We have the, because I'm losing stuff here, um, the first light priming filter. We have the backlight priming filter. And these were pretty good sizes, just to kind of give you an example. Like, it's almost as big as my hand, so that's pretty cool. Um, so lots of product and also this little pot under eye concealer. So that's pretty cool, decent size. And uh, it's good color for, I think, under my eyes. And um, yeah, oh my goodness. <laughs> so yes, so first little thing. Oh, and that was $12.99 for all three of these Becca products, which is a steal. So next I have a Bare Minerals blush. Oh, and this also came from Marshalls, and this one came from Marshalls. So I have a Bare Mineral Gen Nude Powder Blush. This is in the shade Peachy Keen, and I love these blushes, love. I have two, I have that peach though, and I have Bellini Brunch. Love peach blushes. I think they're so wearable, they're really great, like of course spring and summer, but I've been rocking them over the winter too, cause you know. But anyway, this is what it looks like. Let's get the little lid off here. And I have been playing with some of these because I couldn't resist. But it's a really pretty peach color. And I've got a little peachy theme going on tonight, it would appear. So let's go ahead and see. We're gonna just kind of swirl a bit. And if I start up here, what a beautiful shade. That is so pretty. So very excited. And I think this one was, oh, $7.99 at Marshalls. Um, then we have what is next what is next i found a highliner i'm sorry i did find a highliner but we're gonna get to that this is a buxom um lip pencil and it's a really pretty like plummy merlot shade called stakeout and it's just beautiful it's got a brush on one end i guess to blend and then on the other end you have the product this is the product here and let's see what it looks like we'll just swatch it next to this blush so you can see it's like a really deep um, very soft though, very pigmented um, lip liner. And I just think it's beautiful. I didn't have any colors really like this. And um, 
I'm excited to see what it looks like with some of my lipsticks and lip glosses. So we have that. Next we have the Lip Injection Glossy by Too Faced. And this is in the shade Babe Alert. And the lip injections, um, these products um, are, I guess, stimulating for the lips to kind of plump them a bit. If you are sensitive, um, these might be a little bit um, like warming for you or tingly. They are a little tingly, a little tinglier than I expected. Oh, but $5.99 and at Marshalls. Um, but just to show you the color, it's a really pretty, like a, almost like an orange sherbet color, which I think is really, really pretty. Um, let's see. So you can see that there is pigment. There we go. Now you can see. So there is a good amount of pigment in it, but it's, it's very sheer. And it would be really pretty, I think, all by itself or over top of another lipstick to give it a little bit more sheen. But there is definitely some tingle up in ya, just to let you know. Next, I have Mermaid Tears by, this is also Too Faced. So this was a very unique product for me, and this is not something I would have thought that I would have purchased. But when I saw the color, I was so inspired. I just, I feel like a purple eye look with this really like, very beautiful, but very strange, like green with like a pink glittery shift lipstick. So it's like a pinky or a greeny purple color. So like when I swatch it, it's super creamy, but can you see it's, I mean, it's, it's literally like green, but there's this beautiful iridescence to it. And I just think it's so unique, so inspiring. It just makes me want to be creative, which is like, my favorite, favorite thing, so. And that one was, oh, $5.99. So most of the lip products from TJ Maxx and Marshalls you'll find will be around between $5.99 and $7.99 typically. Okay, so I have another lip product here by Becca, and this one is their Glow Gloss, and this one is in the shade Citrine and Apricot. So this is also a really pretty like springy, I think color, but it could also be really pretty to top over a lipstick. It's basically like a rose goldy kind of gloss, if you can see. Um, there's definitely like a, a peachiness, a goldness to it, a pinkiness, and um, it's a crystal lip topper glow gloss. So for this one, let's swatch it right here. That is super iridescent. Can you guys see that? It is like, it is really reflective, really beautiful, and very, very exciting. I cannot wait to try this on. All right, so next we have another Becca lip gloss. I apologize, I lost the box for this one. I've had fiascos, <laughs> fiascos, which is for another day. But this one was the same price, so I think it was $7.99. And go ahead and swatch that here. And this one is a really pretty ruby shade. There's definitely like a gold shimmer in there. Very beautiful. Would be really pretty over a red lipstick or by itself. Um, and I love how much product you get in these. Like these are pretty good, a pretty good size lip gloss. So I'm sure I'll get a lot of wear out of those. And next I have the Becca Volcano Goddess. I have this eyeshadow palette as well. I got it at Ulta um, during their 21 Days of Beauty, which I'm not a huge like wintry holiday kind of person. I'm like a Halloween kind of gal, to be honest with you, but the deals around the holidays, girl. Living, living for it. So this one is, as I just tossed it on the floor, it's another glow gloss. This one is in metamorphic gold. And this one I believe was also $7.99. So we had to swatch it right here. And you can see, I mean, it is very, very gold. It's like, it's like a true gold. Get another little swatch in there. It's, it's so pretty. I just, I'm living for this stuff. Okay, and next, well, I'll go over that later. Oh, I found a Marc Jacobs um, Enamored High Shine Lip Lacquer. And this is another color that was like unusual for me. This one was $7.99. I don't have anything like this in my collection, but I thought it was stunning. This packaging, first of all, can we just talk about this for a second? Like, delicious. It's like so delicious. Oh, like thank you for coming into my life. So anyway, it's a hot pink 
um, lip lacquer as they called it, but it's also got like a blue purple shift to it, which I think makes it really unique and will be probably very fun to wear. We'll kind of swatch it up here. We'll, we'll swatch it down here. We're running out of room here. But it's just, I mean, it's not like, you can definitely like see through it. So it's more of a gloss than like a lipstick, but I think it's beautiful and I'm really stoked. I think it'll be really pretty with like a cooler tone look. Um, so we'll see. And when I have this in my shop, my stash and, uh, or maybe for a look I'll do for you guys, but definitely excited to try this. Okay, next we have a another, another lipstick. So this is um, also by Too Faced. This is the La Creme Color Drenched Lipstick. And it's in the shade Wham. And when I first saw the packaging, I don't know if you can tell, but I thought it was like a plum color. But when I actually got it home, it is a beautiful, like reddish, like glittery color that has a little bit of purple too to it as well. So I'll swatch it right here. And it's that same consistency as the Mermaid Tears, which is just really creamy and beautiful. But yeah, you can see it's like almost got like a little bit of like a raspberry hue to it. It's like a red with like a raspberry and you can see some like gold, I'd say like shimmer, maybe like gold and red shimmer in there. It's, it's really beautiful. So I'm excited to try that as well. Um, and next I have, I found the um, Algenist Prime Illuminate Correct Reveal Color Correcting Primer, Radiant Primer. So when I saw Radiant, I was super excited because as, as we've talked about, I have dry skin on this face, some dry skin. So Radiant to me said moisturizing, luminosity, um, you know, like light and all that good stuff that I love and that I need. And I love that it's color correcting too um, because I definitely have some sun damage on my skin. I have some redness. Um, you know, just discoloration and things. And to have something that kind of goes over and neutralizes all of that so that maybe you're not putting on as much foundation if you need a little extra coverage, this might kind of like make it so that you can put on a little bit less foundation if it's color correcting for you. So I'm just really excited to try it. It slides out of its case like this and there's a box inside. And you get a pretty good size tube. It's like, it's pretty thick. Um, again, to kind of show you, it's about the size of my hand. So that's a lot of product. And I, I don't have a ton of primers. I maybe have like, I think I bought maybe around like 10, but like two or three of them I don't really care for. So I'm like, you know, it will be nice to find, like I haven't found a holy grail product in primer yet. Um, though this, that infallible is going to the top of my list. That infallible primer, it was like infallible pro glow primer from L'Oreal. Did not expect that, you know, that has been so successful for me in so many different applications and has saved my makeup many days. So, but we're gonna try this one. I'm excited for it. And next we have, let's see, let's see. Let's do another lip product because I have some exciting things in here. Um, so this is the Endless Summer Glow. This is from the Becca collection that she was with Chrissy Teigen. And this is a really like beautiful, it's called Malibu Soleil. And it's a really pretty nude color. It does like, it is a little darker. Like it looks a little lighter in the tube than it applies, but I'm like really into how rich it is and beautiful. And even though it kind of looks more like a gloss, it, I think it's like as pigmented as like a lipstick or a liquid lipstick kind of situation, but it's got that high shine of a gloss. But it's like such a pretty color. Like I really like it. It's, it's so wearable. Um, this could totally be like a work color or, um, you know, even if you like did a smoky eye, but that would be gorgeous on the lip. Planning, planning some looks. So next I have, I mentioned that I found a highliner and I did by Marc Jacobs. And this one was at Marshall's for $5.99. It's in the color Navy Noir. And I don't have a, I don't have really any Navy eyeliners and I don't have that many Navy shadows, but I do have one. Um, and I was like, you know what? I think I could pull this off. But it was just really pretty and it's something unique and Marc Jacobs liners are so soft. They glide on like nothing. They're just super comfortable, um, not scratchy. And this is retractable. You can just roll it up and get more product, which is always nice not to have to sharpen stuff. Um, I don't know if you guys are like me, but I find that sometimes when I'm sharpening products, like things are getting caught up. I'm losing product in the sharpener. So I, I appreciate a retractable eyeliner or, or uh, lip liner. So we'll plop that guy to the side. And I also mentioned in my TJ Maxx beauty room haul, which is still a work in progress. I'm really feeling these vibes though. You know, it's a vibe. I love 
chilling on my little bed with you guys in my guest room. And um, yeah, I just, I, I don't know. I just kind of am feeling this. So we'll see, we'll see what happens with that. But anyway, I mentioned in that video that um, I didn't have that many bronzers and that I was trying to get like a little bit more of a selection because I like switching things up. I like trying different things, different brands, different colors. Um, obviously we have four seasons, you know, you might want a different look. You might want, you know, something more, a little bit more, um, I don't know, when you're all tan in the summer, you don't might not mind a little bit of shimmer where in the winter, maybe you want to be more matte. I don't know, it's just, you can mix it up if you have different products with different formulas. So I like doing that. But anyway, the packaging is really cute. Um, I like it and I've never ha tried an e.l.f. product. Um, this is definitely a more affordable brand. They do sell this at Ulta. I believe they sell this at the drugstore as well, but a lot of their products are really good and I've, I've never tried an e.l.f. product, but I've seen so many reviews um, and there's a lot of really good products out by e.l.f. So I'm excited to try their bronzer and this is a shimmering highlighting powder version of a bronzer. So it definitely has a little bit more luminosity, which I have no problem with at all. I know some people don't like glittery bronzers. It can emphasize texture on your face but I'm willing to give it a try. I think it's a really pretty color and it definitely gives me summer vibes. So it's definitely like highly pigmented. It's very smooth. It's not powdery. It's, I can't wait. I'm really excited about this. It was a really good find and it was $2.99. So like, whatever. Let me just toss this to the side. Then I found, um, oh, I found a bunch of these. Um, maybe three weeks ago or so. Um, at TJ Maxx and I went crazy. I was so excited. Um, Too Faced Peach My Cheeks. These are a cream product. Um, and I was able to find the bronzer, the highlighter. Um, and I believe there are either five or six blush colors. I found four of the six or five. Um, I feel like the sixth one was one I wouldn't want to wear anyway. Like it wasn't really my vibe, but this one I was missing and it was my vibe. And this is Peach Dream, I believe. Yes, Peach Dream. This was the one I was missing. And then when I found this at Marshall's for $10.99, I was like, come to mama, you cute little peach. Look at this little guy. Can you even, I cannot. Like, oh, sorry, there we go. So he's a cute little peach shape. The leaf here is the color of the blush that's inside. And we open it up. It's like so freaking cute, I can't. I just, I love it. I love the packaging. I'm excited to get into more cream products. I have some cream contours, um, cream highlights, um, you know, I think like a banana and like a darker color to kind of like work in with highlighting and things. I haven't done a ton with cream contouring because it is a little bit, I think it requires a little bit more technique um, than powder does and it can be a little bit more challenging to work with. But I'm thinking summertime, I'm not gonna want like a lot of heavy stuff on my face. I might want, you know, to throw on a BB cream and a little cream blush or something like that. And I've seen this applied even over powder, I think using a beauty blender. So it can be done. Um, I just haven't tried them yet because I have like kind of like spring and summer plans for these little guys. So excited to pretty much complete my collection in this little peach line. So that was fun. Next I have for you, um, this was, a MAC palette that I found at Marshall's. It was $19.99. It is um, the Aaliyah and MAC palette. And this one, I kind of like had to tear into this to see it. When I was in the store, I had to look online um, to be able to kind of see what the palette looked like. But I thought this was something unique to my collection. I also um, think it'd be a really good palette to travel with because it's so compact and small. And you get nine shades in here. So, it's pretty, it's pretty diverse. A lot of neutral shades, but some pretty colors as well. You've got a purple color here, like a black, this is a satin formula. It looks like a black satin formula, I'd say, a silver satin, a gold kind of like a little bit maybe chunkier of a glitter, I'm thinking. Um, and then you have like a taupey, um, taupey and a peach satin formula. And you have a matte dark brown, a matte like, I guess like a lighter brown, but it's like almost like a yellowy, like mustardy brown. And then there's this pretty like sand camel color in the center that's also matte. So you have three matte shades, you've got several satin shades, and then um, you have this beautiful gold. So I just wanna swatch some of these for you and show you what these eyeshadows look like. I'm not gonna swatch them all, but I'll pick some pretty colors. So we'll look at the purple one, the silver, the gold, and let's look at a matte too. Let's look at this kind of like, this would be a good transition color. So let's see if that shows up and how that looks. But I don't have tons of MAC products anymore. I bought a lot of MAC 
um, I think like in my like t early 20s and stuff, but then I kind of moved away from the brand and so I'm trying to kind of get back and, and explore their products a little bit more. I'll actually do these on my hand because I'm running out of room. Um, so we have that really pretty gold. You can see that. We have the silver. So not as pigmented as the gold. The gold's like kind of chunky, but it's like pigmented for days. That gold is like not playing with anybody. We have the purple, which looks like it's kind of that same sort of like, you know, it has some shine, but it's not as chunky as the gold. And then we have this um, transition like matte shade, which is definitely pigmented. So there's some swatches. See if we can get you guys to see them clearly. Um, but yeah, I think this is a pretty good choice um, to travel with. It's got a lot of neutral stuff, but also some fun things if you wanna have a fun night out. So anyway, I should have grabbed some makeup remover wipes, but we'll just rub it in. Be real glittery and colorful tonight. Okay, so that's that little palette. And um, next we have, oh my goodness, I'm getting a little collection going on up here. Be gone with ya, be gone. All right, so next, I was super, super, super excited to find this Marc Jacobs um, Remarkable Under Eye Concealer. And this was literally $7.99, like for Marc Jacobs. <laughs> oh my goodness. So anyway, and I did find this at Marshalls. It's this adorable little pot concealer. You could also use this, I'm sure, as like, maybe like an eyelid primer if it wasn't exactly the perfect color, but I think this is actually gonna work out really well for me. Ooh. I think that's a pretty good color. And we'll see if it's too dark under my eyes. I don't think it will be though. I think it's gonna be perfect. Um, but if it is, then I can always use it as an eyelid primer for a shadow. I think it would work really well for that. And the packaging is adorable. I love the clear bottom and you can see the product. It's just, I just really like it. I think it's really beautiful. Um, okay, so next we have, I'm getting to the ex most exciting products to me. Not this one, um, the, but the last ones I have after this. And I'm excited about this too, of course. I'm excited about all of these products, but I'm like over the moon about the last ones I'm gonna show you. Um, so anyway, this is a little, I'm just opening things up without even telling you what I'm opening. This was $12.99. This is Smashbox and Casey Holmes, and she's a YouTuber. Um, Spotlight Palette Gold. So, I thought these colors were really beautiful. So you can see here, they're a little bit more like neutrally colors. Um, they're not super duper duper like bling off your face, but like there's not always an occasion to have highlighters that are like, you know, sending signals to space out there. Sometimes you want something more subtle, but beautiful. And that's what this is. These are gonna show up. It's not where I'm saying that these are not, you know, pigmented. These are highly pigmented, very beautiful very wearable um let me sh oh, let's go this way can we do that all right so we have this guy this guy and this guy so they're really beautiful make sure that you guys can kind of see nice gold colors and they're a little glittery like this bottom one's a little glittery but i think that's really playful and fun i like that and I think these colors are, are really wearable. It's nice that there's a little bit of a deeper gold and a lighter gold. I am sure you can mix them too. And I think that suits more skin types to have, um, and more skin tones, to have a multitude of colors and shades to play with. So that's always fun. And now we're getting to my favorites. Ooh. Okay, so I found not one, but two Stila like basically like glitter products. This is their Shimmer and Glow. Um, and this one is in Vivid Garnet, which I had not seen before at all. And as soon as I looked at this, the first thing I thought of was Anastasia Beverly Hills Modern Romance Palette. I think this is gonna be so beautiful if I did a look with that and then like use this as like an eyeliner or, or maybe like cut the crease with it or did like a, um, I think it's called like a halo eye where I would just apply it right in the center of the lid. Um, it's beautiful. So we'll swatch it right here. Look at that. It's so pretty. Like I just can't. 
I'm so excited to wear this. I think it'll be a really beautiful look with that palette or with really any palette, even by itself. Um, and then the other one I got was a glitter and glow and it's one of the highlight illuminators. I probably though use all of these, even if it's a highlight um, or, or an eyeshadow, I'm gonna use them all as eyeshadows, just to be honest. And that's the fun thing about makeup. It's essentially paint. You know, there's no rules. You can do whatever you want. Make, make a beautiful, you know, painting on your face. <laughs> so this is the color Kitten. And this one is like a pretty, oh, I can't, like a really beautiful rose gold color. And it's just gorgeous. Like it's so wearable. It's so pretty. It's so shiny. I love shiny. I'm like a fish. I'm like shiny. Anyway, I digress. Um, so I also found three of these little steel eyeshadows. I kid you not, these still are on Sephora's website for $30 each. I found these for $5.99 at TJ Maxx. And if you can see, the packaging is adorable. And also on the outside here along this border and then the name itself is actually the color of the eyeshadows inside. So it kind of gives you at a glance, like you know which shadow it is right away. So when I saw this, I was so happy. It's like a pewter and a silver. And I think this is gonna be a beautiful compliment to like one of my palettes for an eye look. I don't have any colors like this. And this just was my vibe all the way. I was so happy. And this is just the first of three beautiful, beautiful Stila duos I was able to find at TJ Maxx. Like I was over the moon. This next one was Amethyst. You can see 5.99 right there. And I have the MAC um, palette. It's the classic cutie palette. And that one's got like some light lavenders in it. I think a, like maybe like a silver, like a light silver. But I wanted, I was like, I really want like a pretty purple eyeshadow to kind of deepen that up. I just, a lot of the colors are kind of light. And I'm like, I just want a little bit more of a pop. So when I found this, I was like, answered prayers. I'm like, thank you. Thank you. Thank you. So this one, let's not blind you guys. I have learned from last time. So you can see it's got a really pretty, um, two beautiful purple tones in here. I'm just living for these. I was, I just felt so blessed when I found them. I was like, <gasps> so, and I have one more left to show you guys. That is the Sapphire version. And this is another thing I was dying for like a cobalt blue shadow. And I was like, do I have any palettes with cobalt blue? Like, should I buy a whole palette just to get cobalt blue? Like I was really like marinating on this. I was like, I just need this in my life. And then miracle of miracles, it falls into my lap at TJ Maxx. So again, and all of them have, um, you can kind of see like the amethyst one had purple on the outside and a purple stila. This one has blue around it and a blue stila. So hopefully that's catching on the camera a little bit. I just, I'm hoping you guys can kind of see that. But anyway, more importantly inside, and I'm just noticing like eyeshadow all over my pants. <laughs> so played with this one a little bit. I couldn't resist, um, but it's beautiful. There's like a really deep blue and then this really beauty, beautiful cobalt blue that has glitter. These are just like gorgeous. I don't even understand it. And it's for six bucks when they're $30 at Sephora. Yes, please. So last, but most certainly not least, I found the MAC Hyper Real Glow. And I have not seen this on anybody else's um, TJ Maxx hauls yet. So I'm hoping that this hits your TJ Maxx soon because these are like beautiful. Oh my gosh. Let me just show you guys. And this was 20 bucks, but it was 20 bucks well spent. I didn't even care. I was like, you know what? These are so pretty. All right, so I still have some glitter on myself, but we're gonna make this work. All right, so I'm just gonna swatch the three pans inside. You can see three pans. <laughs> Let's try that again. <laughs> So I'm doing acrobatics here. All right, we'll do it on my hand. I mean, well, there's a party. There's a party going on here. I am thrilled. 
I'm thrilled with these. So excited. So now that we have all this makeup, you know, lipsticks by the plenty. Oh my goodness, I'm throwing things. Let's see, we have three, four, two, three, two, three, four, five, six, eight lipsticks. One, two, three primers, eyeliner, a lip liner, two under eye concealers, two basically like shimmer shadows, a bronzer, a highlighter palette, two highlighter palettes, three eyeshadow duos, so really six eyeshadows, two blushes, and a little palette. Let's see what the law is. I have missed one. Anybody that loves the Little Mermaid, me too. Arr! I completely, this was like hiding behind me. It was like trying to escape and I was like, not today lip glosses. You are here to stay. So let me pop these little guys out of their case. I cannot believe I totally missed this. And this was $12.99. It's the Becca, Chrissy, uh, Becca and Chrissy Teigen lip gloss collection. This was their holiday collection. And I know that because of the lip gloss name. So we have Candy Cane, um, Cinnamon Bun, Sugar Plum, and Creme Brulee. So quick swatch these guys too. Let's see. So we have Candy Cane there. We have Cinnamon bun. Wait, no, this is, yeah, cinnamon bun. Beautiful pigmented glosses that I cannot wait. And they smell amazing. Let's see. Mm, like dessert. This one is sugar plum. It's like a pretty mauvey gloss. And we have creme brulee. I can't believe I almost missed these. This one has a really pretty like iridescent shimmer. It's definitely more um, of a sheer gloss, but it has that fun sparkle in it that makes it special. So these are little baby sizes, but they're perfect to throw in your purse. Or if you just want some variety, like, you know, some of these lip glosses are so big, they take up a lot of space. Those little guys give you a lot of variety without taking up tons of space in your collection. So that's always fun too. Anyway, now we're gonna tally. Okay. So you guys are not going to believe this. For all of those high-end products, I spent literally $193.76 for all of that high-end makeup. If I thought about it, I mean, I think it's probably like, like when it originally launched, probably over like $1,000 worth of makeup, at least. Like for under $200. That's why I love TJ Maxx. Those are the deals that you can find. And, and Marshalls, of course, too. TJ Maxx has my heart, but I like Marshalls, too, a lot. So anyway, I hope this was fun for you guys. I am so excited to have everything unwrapped, and I can actually put it in my collection now, get it all, all in, you know, with the fam <laughs> of all my other stuff. So anyway, I hope this was fun. And um, thank you so much, guys, for joining me today. Um, it was so much fun to share this with you. Um, I'd love to find out if you guys found any cool deals at your TJ Maxx or what you've been loving recently, um, you know, just so I can look out for it too. So anyway, yeah, thanks again guys for joining me tonight and I'll talk to you soon. All right, bye.